we went to Roy's Burger Bar mm. for dinner today. Ty's still working, that's why I'm staying a little bit quieter, but we, <clears throat> we went to Roy's Burger Bar for dinner. Roy's Burger Bar is a place in Roy, Utah, which is just a couple miles down the road, which is perfect because we love this place. Yeah. At least I love this place. But uh, yeah, they make good burgers, and apparently they were featured most recently on uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, Dives with uh, Guy Fieri. I didn't know this, uh, but we knew it before they uh, even showed up, which is totally awesome. But this is my burger. Compared to Theron's burger. It's a beast. And we got shakes and mushrooms and fries. And Ty got a, uh, what, what are the shakes? We got an Oreo, two Oreo shakes. We've got a tropical flavored shake, which has got a whole bunch of tropical fruit in it, which is actually pretty good. And an M&M one. And Ty got a cheesecake one, which of course started melting on the way home because it's 80 degrees outside. And uh, I couldn't help but divulge myself uh, into uh, diving into her cheesecake shake, which was pretty good. But yeah, so that's what's for dinner, and uh, it's a good place. So if you're ever out in Utah, it's a good place to stop if you're in Roy. Oh shoot, that was hard. What are we doing? Eating. None of your business. Get that phone out of my face. how big that is. Get your phone out of my face. It's probably so interesting ordering there and stuff because he always wants to change the cheese fries and they never have it really on the menu. Get that phone out of my <laughs> Me and Bridger got the half pound bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, fries. They're huge. They're like as big as my face. Okay. Darren got chili cheese fries. And, and they're hot. Dill pickles and they're hot. Oh, shoot. That's just a regular size burger. No, it's a half pound. <laughs> and then. Bridger's bigger than his face. <laughs> Bridger's burger is bigger than your face. Probably not. No, it's not. His burger is not bigger than my father's face. That's hard to beat. Just kidding. But they make their fries like insanely fresh. So every time you get them, they're not salted. Um, but they're like super hot. Like burn your tongue hot. But they're really good. Hey, puppy. What are you doing, puppy? Oh, getting scrubs. <laughs> she likes to have her neck <laughs> <laughs> There's some of the collar on. Oh, she's like, take it off, please. Funny girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's getting all scruffy, huh? Luckily, we know somebody out here that'll take care of her, right? Yeah, you probably ought to get her. She's like, rude. Rude. Oh, pretty puppy. I think you guys just think we eat. It seems like all the footage we have is of, <laughs> of us eating. <laughs> So the footage of the shake and Jake going to the burger bar, that was, when was that? Monday? Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday, because I didn't work yesterday. <coughs> oh, so it was leftover footage. And then the other footage of the burgers, the kids eating half pound burgers. What the heck? That was tonight. Anyways, um, Jake is going to the old place and... Being, I, I don't know, we got to figure out how to, <clears throat> got to figure out facts. Anyways, we're almost done with going, having to go down there all the time, <clears throat> but not a ton of been going on. Today was my day off and we laid in bed all day long. Laid I laid in bed all day long. I Jake worked. worked. came home and laid in bed until we went to dinner. 
Yeah, well. With the, your dad and Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we went to this place, right? <laughs> um, What's the name of the place again? Virgies. 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 In Ogden. Anyways, we went to Virgis with my dad and Anthony. Um, and Anthony. We so we sat we down said. first. Huh? Which we already said. Yeah. Anyways, so we, we got sat down and got our menus and drinks ordered. And this family walks in. Mind you, we're... It's the three kids, me, Jake, my dad, and my brother. My dad has um, a severe anxiety... What do you call it? Disability? He's on Disorder. disability for it. For it, it's pretty severe. The, the, Anyways, yeah, I mean, he, loud sounds, noises, screaming, yelling, all that kind of he stuff. Doesn't do he doesn't well do that. well with it. I don't do well with groups, but um. Anyways, so this family comes in, and they, I'm pretty sure that their umpteen kids all had autism. They didn't have a volume button, screaming and carrying on. It was pretty obnoxious, and though the ladies. The mom is like, oh, sorry. So she we... She didn't say that, though. That's she did. She looked at me and was like, oh, really. sorry. Yeah. Anyways, we made the call. My dad was about ready to turn and yell at the family. Well, because so, they were like... Yeah. Screaming and yelling. So, so we made the call to... We were going to leave. And then we saw that when we were getting ready to walk out, that the other side of the restaurant was empty. So we went over there, and that's where we ended up eating. Um, so when we walked away, Jake said, what do you, what happened to the lady? She was looking at us like, and the guy or the dad or whatever was looking at us the same way. And I basically told him, you know, I, uh, there's, um, anxiety issues. And so we're, we're getting up. That's the reason why we're moving. And they're like, they're just kids. And we were like, and that's when I said, I understand that's why we're choosing to move. Not only that, like, I think it's funny because Bridger, Emberly, and Theron are kids too, and they weren't behaving like that. No. They were screaming. They were fighting about who was going to sit with who and who was sitting next to and me. And it wasn't and just fighting. It was like... Which was sitting here and which dad was sitting here. It was ridiculous. It, it, it was, I mean, screaming, like, Yeah squealing like it was high-pitched annoying oh my gosh it was bad. all at the same time too so it was just the the noise was just and ridiculous the mom and the dad were like just choose a spot blah, blah, blah. and even after we went to the other side of the restaurant we could still hear them so i'm kind of glad yeah we, moved. we literally went to the opposite end of the restaurant and you could still hear them all talking it was yeah it was out of line was crazy fun. she's right there rolling on the carpet but anyways, it was good food. It was pretty good. I got the yeah. belly buster burrito. It was huge. I think that's what I got last time. Um, and then me and my brother got meatloaf. I've had better meatloaf before. <laughs> Jake loves meatloaf. <laughs> All right. And the other last thing that I wanted to share was just the fact that I think our kids are great. Um, we were at the pool the other night and there was some kids hanging out at the pool and there's parents that weren't watching their toddlers and they're letting their toddlers in the hot tub and things like that. And little kids. there was other, there was moms in the hot tub that noticed that I didn't let Amberly, who is 12, nope, 13, the age is 14 and I still wouldn't let her in the hot tub. And, um, she got out and she the lady, the moms were like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Your kids are so well behaved. And I don't know. I just, you know, also at the ho at the restaurant tonight and those kids that were screaming and yelling and our kids are kids too. And they're behaving in public. Anyways, I just wanted to, it makes me feel good when I notice that the kids are, their normal is being well, they're well behaved and sometimes I feel like they're not, but then I go in public and other people say what, you know, how well behaved they are. And it kind of, it kind of feels awesome as a parent. I think the other part, the other um, thing is, is that we do, no, the other thing that we do, um, like at Walmart, we, we will go and get a cart or whatever. And when we get to the checkout, we make our kids sit down on a bench. 
they're not allowed to beg for things at the checkout. Um, so usually, at, usually at Walmart or something, there's a bench or something for them to sit on. And usually, you know, they may, they sometimes have to be reminded, but they usually go and sit down unless they're helping with bagging and stuff like that. But we've always taught the kids to do that. And it's, I don't know, it's just those little things that make me realize how good our kids really are. Can I tell them something? You're amazing. Can I tell them yeah. something? I puked. After he do? ate so much, he spit up like a baby. Bridger, <laughs> he was spitting. He wasn't puking. No, he I spit all over the floor. I puked. Bridger hit me in the head like this. With a pillow. <laughs> and if friend hurt right here, wait, like right and here. And he said that it scooped up puke from three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. You. You're so cute. I love when you. When we lived in Eagle Mountain High, friend threw up. Yeah, that was it. On my bed. Oh my god. Ew. Yeah. That, that's Ew. Cute. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. What do you say? Stay on awesome. Bye. I have a mark on my shoulder. What the heck is that? That's a scar. Have we always seen that? Yeah. No, not just a for a while. Bye. I just scar. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye.